So I've been fascinated by Jeffrey Miller's hypothesis building on Darwin's theory of sexual selection, trying to account for the evolutionary origins of the human mind's extraordinary capacities for art, for language, for poetry. And the theory says that the brain essentially evolved as a courtship device. The brain is essentially our version of the peacock feather. It's our bird song used to capture and manage the attention of potential mates so that we can spread our genes. The brain is essentially a sexual ornament. And that is a fascinating idea. Now with the advent of human culture, we've moved from a world of spreading our genes to a world of spreading our memes, which is a new replicator born from the primordial soup of human culture whose vector of transmission is language and information technology. Yet we still employ these ancient capacities for discourse, poetry, and charm to enrapture the attention of others with we this to go to the oratory moon. aphrodisiac, this ecstatic vocalization and empowered articulation. Except that now our evolution Evolutionary success is measured by how far they replicate our memes. You might say that evolutionary success today is in Twitter followings, is in YouTube views. We trade in the currency of attention. And this is still nature because as Dawkins says, if you want to understand life, do not think of throbbing gels and oozing liquids. Think about information technology, words, instructions. Well, that was it. We had a breakthrough, my friend. We just had a breakthrough.